Hey guys, Arnold Broad here with another news update on men's health. And in this issue, we want to talk about ED, erectile dysfunction, and can get any help with taking vitamin D supplements that's been in the news for a while. And, you know, it's all the rage to see if you could take one thing and, and, you know, get a cure. Anyway, if you have a question about this video or any of the videos on my channel, you can call or text me at 609-410-4790. Let's take a look at what we have today. Now, what's the numbers for ED? Well, the first thing is, is that 40% of men older than 40 have ED, and 70% of those older than 70 have ED. It, it doesn't you know, it's not like 50 over 50, it's 50%. It just works that way. Now, it's not necessarily true that age is related to ED. What's related to ED is that the older you are, the longer you've had to incur damage to your body, which will cause ED. And the damage generally is to the lining of your blood vessels, which is called the endothelium. And what happens there is that when the endothelium is damaged, your body doesn't produce enough nitric oxide. When your body doesn't produce enough nitric oxide, you have high blood pressure, you have cholesterol issues, and because of poor blood flow, you have ED issues. Now, the best way to prevent ED, or to reverse it, is through lifestyle choices. Now, such as proper nutrition, um, exercise, maintaining your weight. And these are all great things. But you want to understand that ED is a symptom of an underlying problem. Consider ED to be like the check warning light on your car. It's just telling you something is going on underneath. And usually the underneath part is damage to the lining of your blood vessels, which is really a cardiac issue. Now, low levels of vitamin D may be associated with ED, as, as shown in a study. And what they did was they looked at 3,400 men aged 20 and older who didn't have heart disease. And now, Heart disease is correlated with ED because you have damage to your blood vessels, the lining of your blood vessels. Now, the research has concluded that men with vitamin D deficiency were a third more likely to have ED than those with sufficient vitamin D levels. Really easy to get checked for vitamin D. It's an easy blood test you can do at your doctor's. Real simple stuff. To reverse vitamin D deficiency is also very simple. And there's foods you can take, be out in the sun, but vitamin D supplements are really inexpensive and really simple to take. And I would advise you to do that with your doctor's advice if you find your vitamin D levels are low. Now, getting your vitamin D levels to adequate levels is important, except it's not going to do any repairs to the lining of your blood vessels, which is a major factor in ED problems. One of the best ways to do that is through nitric oxide therapy. And if you'd like to see a really good video on nitric oxide therapy, just click on the link below this video in the description, and it'll take you to that video. If you have any questions about this video, any of the videos on my channel, nitric oxide therapy in general, give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Have a great day, and here's to your good health.